Welcome back to Titans All Access from the Bet MGM studio. Amy Wells does extra work this week for the Nissan Insider. We couldn't pick between running back Tony Pollard and cornerback Legereus Sneed, so Amy said, I'll interview them both. We hope you appreciate her extra effort for this week's Nissan Insider, or should I say Nissan Insiders? Tony Pollard, Legereus Sneed, you were a huge off-season acquisition here for the Titans. Do you feel any pressure associated with that? Oh, uh, yes, it's a lot of pressure. You know, I enjoy the pressure, um, you know, having everybody locked in. Coming to an organization, you know, every year you have to reprove yourself. And, you know, it's just part of the business. And, you know, coming from Dallas, that's something that you get used to. You get used to being in the spotlight, the Monday night, Sunday night, Thursday night game, the primetime game. So it just comes with the territory. You learn to, learn to love it. Because you're such an established veteran, people know what you can do on the field. Do you feel like you've been put in a little bit more of a leadership position here with the Titans? You can kind of say that. You know, I was always a guy that, that led by example. You know, I'd rather, you know, guys look up to me and, and see what I've done and, and what I do and how I approach my day by day and learn off of that and just lead by example from what I'm doing. I just got to ride the wave and take what they give me. I got to be better. It's go time. Go time. I have the young guys, just like I have my kids looking up to me. I have young guys when I come in here ask me questions. You know, it's a lot of pressure. You know, I have to show them the way. You know, I had guys who showed me the way and I try to install them to the young guys. What is your your leadership style? Uh, man, I'm not vocal guy. I'm a very, you know, lead by example. You know, you see me go by my work, watch the film, you know, I take my job very serious, you know, no matter what. What do you like about this offense here? The talent, the the playmakers that we have on the outside and just the way that we use the guys on the team, the way that we use the versatility and guys that can do different things in different positions and just using it to the best of their ability. What do you like about this Titans defense this year? Oh man, everybody's hungry, you know, but no, he's coming there every day with the energy, you know. We have a complacent day, you know, he tell us don't get complacent. You know, keep going every day and every day. And he stall us, he also tell us that we gotta prove ourselves every day. You were a fourth round draft pick. Do you feel like you were overlooked coming into the NFL? I wouldn't say overlook, you know, everything is God's plans. You know, it kept me hungry, it kept me humble. I feel like that's a part of the mindset, you know, to help me get to where I am now. Um, you know, just just keeping that chip on my shoulder and, you know, just, just always feeling like I have something to prove. In college, everybody kind of didn't know exactly what to do with you because you were so versatile, you didn't really fit in one spot. Do you think that that is to your benefit now that you have experience in a lot of different places and you can kind of keep people on their toes? I became very valued. You know, it's just like I tell coaches, just throw me on the field. I'll play whatever y'all want me to play. I will learn it. So just having that, that receiver background, that, you know, that good hand-eye coordination, being good with ball skills, and on top of being able to run the ball, it just it makes it easier to be on the field a lot more. You've got to have a lot of confidence to be able to say that, though. Uh, yes, I mean, it's just what I've been doing my entire life, you know, from wide receiver to defense, you know, I'm just used to it. When did you realize that throughout your career you were going to be getting more of these responsibilities. You were going to be a guy that was going to be up front. You were going to be someone who was going to be thrown on the field. Was there a moment where you realized, I'm going to have to step up and take some of this on? Yes, I could say uh, my rookie year. You know, I had to go in, some things happened, and the coach just threw me in there. And I was like, it's time, you know, step it up and it's your job now. Were there things that you changed in that moment where you realized this is it? Yes, uh, I went by my job totally different, you know. I was studying way harder than what I was, you know. Staying up late nights, coming in early, you know, giving guys and veterans who taught me the way. And those are the things that you've just kept in your kept routine going, forever? Yes, forever, my whole entire career. You gotta grow up fast in this fast, league. Fast, very fast. <laughs>